Meanwhile, IFP spokesperson and MP Mkulego Lengwa has rubbished claims that the late party founder, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi, was responsible for the black-on-black -black violence in the 1980s and early 1990s. This follows a Sunday newspaper editorial describing Butelezi as a murderous apartheid collaborator who was behind hit squads linked to the IFP. Butelezi died on Saturday, aged 95, at his home in Matlabati in northern Kosovo Natal. At the time of his passing, he was one of the longest serving members of parliament. One must put the qualification at the outset that none of us um, are going to call the prince a saint. We considered him as he did, a human being in the course of service. Having said that, um, you will recall that legacies are always contested. Madiba at some point has been called a sellout. And 2023 years later, not everybody agrees with Christ. But every disagreement must actually be in context. Now, the Monty Makanya article, which was referred to in the segment you had uh, with Professor Villagas, mm. we are not surprised. Monty Makanya, at some point, masquerading as Oscar Gumete wrote an article where he was laying out his own participation and presence in the atrocities of the killings of IFP people. It's precisely why we went on a march as the IFP to the offices of the city press last year to say that Monli Makanya is abusing media freedom as an editor of a major newspaper by having biased opinion pieces which he writes masquerading as fact without acknowledging, you know, his own contribution and own role. Never once has he presented facts to back up the allegations he makes against Prince Mangosu Tuteles. And on that score, Mr. Makanya and Prince Buteles were currently in court as we speak right now on this very matter. And it is a court action we are going to continue with, even with the prince having passed on.